Hey guys, I'm Vaibhav. I'd like to thank Hacktify Cybersecurity for giving me this wonderful opportunity to let me share my views on the Zero Trust Security approach. Before going to Zero Trust Security, let us understand this. Data before was managed inside a company's institution. It wasn't accessible by any user outside the company's premises. Hence, it was monitored continuously and secured inside. The basic idea was that anything inside the company's primitives is trusted and secured. But now, the current scenario is something different. With the advancement of technology, any user can access the company's data using cloud computing, system softwares, company softwares, IoT devices, remote devices, and such other devices. The security primitives are no longer safer. This makes the lives of cyber criminals very easy as they have access to various entry points with wider attack vectors. Clearly, it's time for a new paradigm, the zero trust security approach. Never trust, always verify. The basic concept of this approach is that any user, any data, any device, irrespective of it being inside or outside the office parameter, should never be trusted. It should always be tested and should always be verified. The zero trust security approach is more than a concept. It includes seven basic principles. Here is a zero trust model which includes these principles. The principles are people, networks, data, devices, workloads, automation and orchestration, visibility and analytics. Let us go through them one by one. The first one, the zero trust networks. This principle states that valuable assets of a company should be identified and multiple junction points and inspection points should be created so that in case of a breach, those networks can be stopped and isolated. The second, the zero trust workloads. Workloads are any places where the user can access the company's data. This principle basically states that workloads should be secured, especially the ones which are in public cloud, as they have the highest risk of vulnerability. The third one, the zero trust data. We all know that data are continuously shared between different users and within different devices, and hence they being infected are very easy. Thus, they should be monitored and should be secured. The fourth, the zero trust people. Before, username and password proved the identity of the people. But now, this is not the case as any user can be easily compromised and hence the assets can also be compromised. So, this should be strengthened with strong encryption techniques. The fifth, Zero Trust Devices Every device on a network, whether it be a mobile device or an IoT device, must be treated as an individual threat center. Every device should be secured individually and should be isolated very quickly if they are compromised. Visibility and Analytics Every lock should be monitored by the security team so that in case of a breach, the breach can be stopped very easily. The last, automation and orchestration. Every device must automatically connect with the organization's broader IT network to increase the speed and improve the incident response accuracy. In a nutshell, Zero Trust is a strategic initiative that helps to prevent successful data breaches by eliminating the concept of trust from an organization's network architecture. 52% of companies have already implemented this approach with the 18% planning to implement it within the coming years. The zero trust security approach is the future to mitigate the various attacks. Thus, this approach can build a safer and secure globe. Thank you.